Support the Bronx Baretics in Season 2 of the UCL. You can pick up a shirt or hoodie till July 31st. Link is down below in the description. Yo, what's up guys and welcome back for another part of the Uber's Road to Top 10. So we're going to be using a team that will boy problems past me uh, with Mega Dianti, Giratina, a really weird, like, special Groudon with Overheat and Dragon Pulse and um, Klefki as well. So um, Klefki is just a great lead versus my opponent's team because we do have the Magic Coat so we can bounce back, Stealth Rock, Spikes, whatever my opponent wants to go for. So I'm actually just going to go for that. Klefki actually can single-handedly take on his entire team. Uh, so we're going to go right for that Magic Coat hoping he taunts us right here as he does. Nice. And what we can do is just get up that little spike. Uh, he has to switch on to like Groudon right here. Nice. And we're able to get up the spike, which will be breaking the sashes on Deoxys and taking on my opponent's team. So I honestly expect him to double. Back out into... Uh, I could have also lit up with Deancey, but I expect him to double back out into his um, Deoxys speed. But he's going to SD up, which isn't too much of a problem. I mean, it is an issue, but it's not like... I can't, it's not that I can't beat it because uh, we can drop a Draco on him and that'll do so much damage good lord good lord and uh, what I will do here is just Hex as he unfortunately misses the uh, unfortunately for my opponent he misses the uh, Stone Edge right there so we're able to knock out the Groudon I did not want that I would have rather him knock me out that way I could go out into like Deancey and Mega Evolve and take him on but Arceus is going to come out I will be able to Thunder Wave this thing if he wants to set up. I don't care if he has Lumberry as long as we're able to break that. As he does have that Lum. And um, I do have Charty Berry. I, I do have Charty Berry of Eltal, so I'm not too worried. I do two at KO. Uh, as well as the fact that I, I, I should have let off with the Anti versus him, but I didn't want him to be Skill Swap. I would rather lead off with Klefki. Um, but I do have Charty Berry of Eltal as uh, we could just go for foul play. That should be able to knock him out. What is with all this speed? Good lord. Yeah, why are we 2 We should not be 2 a KO by that. Uh, but we're able to knock him out. After Spike, that's a KO uh, for sure on offensive. So we're going to edit this a lot. You don't need that. What? Ollie. No. Ollie, no. No, no, Ollie. No. You need this. I should not be 2 a KO'd by not boosted. <laughs> by a non boosted uh, attack like that. Hell no. So, Deoxys is going to come out, and what I can do is just go right out into my... Um, are we sort of into Arceus Ground? Yes, we are. Okay, good. I can go right out to my Deancey, Mega Evolve, and just throw off a Moonblast. Yeah, as long as we have Thunder Wave Clefki in the back, we shouldn't lose to him. Uh, so, we're just going to Mega Evolve right here. I could alternatively just go for Foul Play or Roost Up. I don't know how much that gets, uh, that gets me, though. I don't think it gets me anything. So I'm going to go around to Deante and just Mega Evolve uh, just to get that speed, of course. And unfortunately, he gets at these rocks, but there's nothing I can do about that. So I can just go for the Moonblast. Unless he has Meteor Mash or Skill Swap, we're in a good situation. He has a Seismic Toss, which is not something you see on Deoxys at all. Um, but it's obviously, it's obviously going to work out right here. Uh, he doesn't have a Fairy Resist, though. Xerneas would be 2 KO'd. Salamence drops and Dark Red drops, so he has to stay in and go for the Seismic Toss again. And uh, unfortunately, with those rocks up, like my Veltal's on a timer. <laughs> unfortunately, with those rocks up, a Veltal can only switch in one more time uh, before it dies. Uh, but I don't know how much that will actually matter in the long run. I think Klefki is going to be the Pokemon putting in the most work. I am very scared of Salamence, though, but he does have to go Dark Rai after this in order to beat me. So, just knowing that is all right for me. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's thinking about. You have to click size and toss again. You can't switch out to anything. Xerneas is 2 at KO just because of its own ability. Uh, Salamence dies, and like I said, Dark Ride dies as well. So, goodbye. I wish we had Sucker Punch on this Eveltal. I don't like Taunt on this thing. I don't think Taunt is necessary, uh, especially because we dropped all that speed. Excuse me, I don't think Foul Play, uh, excuse me, Toxic is necessary. I think this is the better play. We got just a Moonblast right here. I'll keep my uh, Eveltal alive because he cannot spam. Uh, because he cannot spam. What's it called versus me? He he can't he can't Dragon Hits up versus Eveltal. So 
We're gonna Thunder Wave right here. I don't expect them to Dark Void, especially because, especially because I already revealed Magic Coat. Yeah, and then we'll just sack my, uh, we'll sack my Avelts all uh, to be able to. to we'll, we'll sack it to that Dark Void. Um, that way we can set up or go back out into Klefki rather and take them on. Huh. 341 attack. That should be enough to knock them out. I'm pretty sure. Precipice Blades. Let me calculate that. Primal Groudon. Uber's Primal. With you being Thunderwave. Because if Groudon's Precipice Blades does knock out Darkrai, we'll go for that. Because then I could go for Dragon Pulse. 20 attack. Quiet Nature. 20 attack. Darkrai. Precious Blades does have a decent chance to kill, so um about is gonna go down right here, but I don't I don't know how much that matters in the long run the long term of things. Because what I can do now is alternatively I also go out to Arceus Ground. Arceus Ground's Earthquake. Earthquake does not kill, so I have to go out to Groudon right here. And um Great thing is Salamence cannot kill me at plus one and we weaken it a bit as well, which is the whole point. We also have overheat for Xerneas, not that it matters so much, but we miss uh, as he gets fully paralyzed, thankfully. So hopefully we can hit this next one as we do and we are able to pick up the KO. Nice, nice, nice. Salamence is more than likely going to come out. Wants the double edge, that's fine. I also do have, as I said, I have Klefki in the back to deal with the Xerneas. So we're going to Dragon Pulse right here. Um, this won't be able to knock him out, I'm pretty sure. It knocks out the Stealth Rock. Good lord, that does so much damage. <laughs> that does so much. Earthquake should not be able to knock him out, neither should Plus from Return. And um, what I do now is, on the Xerneas, I go hard into Klefki. I go hard into Klefki and I click Thunder Wave. Uh, aromatherapy isn't too common anymore. I used to spam that all the time, but we keep Groudon alive, that way we can hit Xerneas, mix e done. Correct. And unfortunately, we have Flash Cannon over Play Rough. I guess that's for Deancey, opposing Deancey, which makes sense. But we click Thunder Wave here and we weaken him. That's worse versus Xerneas, though, because this is going to hurt, good lord. This is going to hurt. He said good game. I don't know if he has Aromatherapy, though, but we do have to weaken him a bit. As he unfortunately gets fully paralyzed. Um, again, Groudon just came out after. I guess if he had Aromatherapy, that matters. Actually, if he gets fully paralyzed again and did have a room therapy, that still matters right now. So he could just go for Moonblast. I'm surprised he went for Hidden Power when Moonblast two AKOs anyway, and also Oko's everything right there. But I'm not sure. Like I have another Audi team that he made, uh, so we'll probably be swapping back and forth between them. I edited them both a bit because I just wasn't having it with these teams. They're a little bit outdated, <laughs> but they are Audi problems, of course. So. Ah, uh, yeah, now he 100% loses to uh, my Arceus Grounds Earthquake. So I don't even have to risk uh, going out into my uh, my Groudon there because of the next full para. So we're able to pull through, which is pretty good. Um, I didn't lead off with the Ancy versus the uh, Deoxys, mainly because I felt like Klefki was the main way to ensure that I get up hazards. I didn't expect, <laughs> I didn't expect uh, Seismitoss at all. I was more so thinking about skill swap, but Klefki did have Magic Coat, which is really nice. Just again for those, um, for those, uh, also for the support Arceus, which try to go for Willowist, though mainly Toxic uh, these days. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about non-Toxic Klefki, especially because we don't have the best answer for support um, Arceus's or Arceus, Arceus I. <laughs> But I guess between Thunder Wave on uh, Garatina and uh, he also had Dragon Claw on his uh, Arceus Ground. So that's how you know this team was hella outdated. That man had a Dragon Claw on Arceus Ground. I haven't seen that since like early, early XY or late XY. Both of those. Uh, you don't usually typically run that. I ran Recover. I put Recover on it just because we didn't have an opposing Groudon answer, and even though putting Recover on Arceus Ground doesn't really make it the best of answers, it's still just a check, because Groudon can allow Bloom for a 2 at KO easily, and still burn you. Precipice Blade does a hell of a lot anyway, but uh, we'll look for another game, as uh, we got one versus um, Mega Glalie Sticky Web, which is pretty cool. I enjoy my opponent's team, I definitely do. We're leading off with Deancey, 
I tried to put on mod join, but that... Ugh. I'll remember that. I swear I will. Dancy's just the best lead, uh, especially because it's a stick you have. That's really cool that he has um, Mega Galilee. I like his team. I really like his team. I might steal it. By that I mean I'm just going to ask him for it later. Uh, so he leaves Landers, which is the correct play. I can just Mega Evolve and Protect. Um, I don't take any damage this turn. It also ensures that I can take on Klefki after. So Earth Power is my opponent's choice of plays. He should know that I do have Giratina Origin form in the back, so I kind of want a Moon Blast right here. I'm just going to make the... Because I could see my opponent going out into uh, Xerneas right now, or going for like some move to hit this thing, as he does go Glalie. Yeah, even worse. <laughs> Screwed up even worse. Uh, we should be able to go Groudon, though. Yeah, we should be able to go Groudon. And we take the double edge, whatever attack he wants to go for. I really, really want rocks this game. Really, really want rocks. That did so much damage. So much damage. I really want rocks this game as he is able to get up a spike, unfortunately for us. Um, I'll overheat though, just in case he decides to go Landers here. I kind of doubt he go Landers, but I'm going to go for overheat. Cool that he has spikes though, uh, but I think overheat hits everything. It nukes Glalie and it also nukes Landers as he goes Shuckle. Yeah, goodbye, my child. <laughs> Shuckle ate that, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but. Dancy's always a play. He might have cussed that berry. I hope he goes for cuss that berry sticky web. That'd be nice for me. Not for him. That'd be great for me. That spike up sucks, but I think Arceus Ground has a really good shot at sweeping my opponent um, as he does go for Rock Tomb. Oh no! Ten more of those and I might be slower. <laughs> and what we'll do is just Earth Power right here. It picks off Shuckle, but it also deals with a potential Arceus, uh, or potential uh, Groudon switching, excuse me. Um, Landorus should come out now. Maybe Glalie. Glalie is also a good choice on my opponent's part, I feel, uh, because I don't deal with that Mon well at all. Uh, alternatively, he can go out into e killer but I don't think he'll be getting up rocks. I doubt he has rocks on his team. Uh, Glalie is the Pokemon that comes out. Yep. Good choice on my opponent's part. And we'll just sack Groudon uh, right here. I don't think Groudon's doing much. It doesn't really check Xerneas too well. We have Klefki for that, which is the way I'll be doing that. Like, look at that. Go on. <laughs> Straight up, go on. Um, however, we can go out to Deancey. We don't necessarily need its speed for anything, but it does outspeed everything. So, uh, we can just fire off a Moonblast right here. He might have Ice Shard, but Moonblast just hurts everything extremely hard. Earth Power also knocks him out, but I want to fire off this Moonblast because, like I said, it also hits a random Landorus if he wants to go out to that. It hits Xerneas for more than Earth Power would, and we'll just be able to get rid of Glalie, which I think is the important part. Really cool that he has Glalie, though, as I already mentioned, but that monster is gone, uh, thankfully. As, um, if he does go out into Landers, I'm going to weaken that. But he chooses to go out to Groudon. I got to keep my Velt all alive because I'm thinking that's E-Killer. So I'm actually just going to go for Earth Power right here to try and weaken this thing. Uh, he might try and attack like Magiratina or Velt all upon switching as he does try to do so. And, uh, we're going to be able to knock him out with two Earth Powers right here. I don't even have to go for Diamond Storm and try and predict his Landers uh, because Moonblast would do more anyway. So he did try to predict my Velt or my Giratina right there. We were able to knock him out as uh, it is revealed to be Arceus Ghost and hard into a Velt is the play of choice. Can I let you SD up? I'm regretting getting rid of Toxic. Looks like he is SD though, because he did have Brick Break. So we'll be able to Foul Play right here. And Foul Play is going to nuke Landorus as well as hurt Xerneas for, you know, not real damage, but decent damage. Um, yum! Hey, 20% is nothing to laugh at. And I could just sack Deancey right here. That deals with any double. Uh, if he Geomancy's up, I do have Klefki to deal with him. As he goes for Moonblast. And uh, again, I will be able to go right out to Klefki. And we're actually going to spike up a bit because I expect Landers to want to come out. You should go Landers right here. Uh, so we're going to spike up just to weaken his uh, Xerneas upon switching as he goes right for the Moonblast. Is that Specs? What the hell? The 10 million. This man running Specs Xerneas. So we're going to Thunder Wave right now because that did way too much damage as he does make the correct play in switching out. Um, his Landorus, but again, Giratina just gets to come in, and we still live one Moonblast, so even if he doubles, we're fine. It looks like he didn't double right there, so uh, he is going to get up Stealth Rock. Pretty cool with his Landorus. Um, that's actually a threat. That's actually making it a threat. Huh. I'll Hex right here, because one, he can't flinch me with that if he's Sheer Force, and two, with two it KOs Landorus, as well as hitting Xerneas for more damage, so uh, this is the important part. It also hits... Arceus for super effective. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> I 
Uh, so that's going to go down. Xerneas is going to come out, and we're 100% going to go for Thunder Wave right here. Um, because Thunder Wave into Hex, if he does, if he's not like Spec Xerneas, we're fine. Yeah, and Thunder Wave is 100% the best play. Uh, with Klefki, that is 100% the best play. We weaken that, and then we just go out to go out into our Arceus ground and win the game. So you couldn't even if you switched out, it didn't matter. Xerneas was already in checkmate because of the uh, hazards. As um, I can go right out into my Arceus ground now with hazards up, his own Arceus will be to a KO before it can beat me, and I'll hard switch into a Veltal anyway. So um, we should win the game here. Yeah. So goodbye to his Xerneas, and um, he forfeits because he. RCS, especially with just Brick Brick, it cannot be physically defensive of Veltal. Really, really cool team on my opponent's part, though. Remember when Lanners just blew itself up? <laughs> that was really cool. Uh, where are we on the ladder? We are number 1705 on the ladder. That's number 40. Top 10 is 1757. Okay, so well, 52 more points, but uh, maybe 53 more points depending on how this works. I don't think alphabetical order actually matters sometimes. I used to think that matters. I think it did used to matter on the ladder, but I'm not sure anymore. Um, but it, the games are really fun though. Was that Spec Xerneas though? How'd they do so much to Klefki? Is my Klefki not running any EVs? No, it is. Is that Spec Xerneas? That had to be Spec Xerneas. Or Pixie Plate. No, no, it's definitely Specs. Pixie Plate wouldn't do that much. Okay, Moonblast, plus one. Yeah, what was Spec Xerneas? So he had Spec Xerneas with Sticky Web, which is really cool. And Glalie. I like my opponent's team a lot. I like that team a lot. Really, really hard to um, run Sticky Web and Ubers, I feel. Just because Giratina is everywhere, and my opponent's team didn't really have too much to punish that, or as much to punish that as he probably would have liked. But uh, we got a game. Versus a Giratina, versus what? Versus a Deoxys user. Leading right off a of Klefki. Um, because I can just Thunder Wave anything. Whether it be Blaziken, Arceus, or Deoxys. Pretty much the best lead that beats Deoxys. Leads off with his Arceus. Uh, I'm going to go hard out into my Veltal. Uh, because I don't want to take Earthquake. He's just going to SD up anyway. I, I could tell this is the type of player that would do that. He actually goes for Earthquake. So, nice. So, we'll be able to hit this thing with a Foul Play. Doesn't look like he has a fairy type on his team. Uh, his dark resist is his dark ride, which will be taking nothing from that. Absolutely nothing. Um, Arceus ground, what do you do for me? I don't really do much, whereas Groudon checks. I guess you check Rayquaza, quote unquote. This is a tough turn. All right, cause I have to decide, well, I don't want Giratina to go to sleep because it checks Blaziken. Groudon gets up rocks though. Rocks are so crucial in this game. Uh, Eveltal, Eveltal, I need you for E-Color. Arceus Ground. Alright, Arceus Ground. Your move, buddy. Uh, so he's gonna put me to sleep. Which is fine. I cannot stay in. Um, I, I need Groudon for rocks for Rayquaza. I need rocks to threaten Deoxys. Uh, his rocker is his Deoxys of all things, but we'll be able to go right out into Deancey after. We're gonna stay in our regular form and just go for the uh, Moonblast. I think from there we can take him. Deancey. Are you tank? Not really. You're not really a tank. Dark ride. Slush bomb, plus two. So we live that 100%. So we're definitely going on into our Deancey right there. He pulls a double out into Blaziken, which isn't the worst of plays for us because he doesn't switch into this thing at all. He doesn't switch into Moonblast well at all. So I can just Mega Evolve and throw off a Moonblast. Uh, again, he doesn't switch in well to this, like by no means. And I can also Earth Power afterwards. He has these up, but I'm also very, um, I'm very light. I'm pretty sure this Pokemon is very light. <laughs> So I don't think low kick actually knocks me out. Flare bits might, but then he'll knock himself out. He goes for Shadow Claw though, so great. Blaziken is gone. I mean, Darkrai is still a threat, but with Klefki alive now, I think we're in an okay position. Um, e Killer can come out if that wants to. Shadow Claw, interesting enough. Maybe he had high jump kick. <laughs> I prefer low kick. Um, 
Deoxys is gonna come out. That is a stealth rocker. So we're just gonna go for the We're gonna go for the sack to be able to go out into our Klefki. Now I'm going Klefki because he can't touch me, and I'm actually gonna go for Magic Code just in case he wants to go for Stealth Rock. I need Stealth Rock up versus my opponent's team. Low sweep isn't gonna do too much, and I can always Thunder Wave him. So if he does choose to go for Stealth Rock, that'd be great. Goes for Knock though. Um just Thunder Wave then. I feel like he's just gonna go for Stealth Rock right here, and I'm gonna regret this. Whatever, we'll Thunder Wave to Deoxys. Why would he let me Thunder? Well, then again, no, I expect him to go for Stealth Rock because I think this would be the ample opportunity to get them up to weaken the Veltal to try and win. Um, but we'll Thunder Wave right now because he doesn't ever resist. As he does get full pair. Nice. And I can just spike up on his low sweep, which is critting me. No. Uh, but at this point, I feel like Giratina did its job, um, which was nothing because Blaziken died. <laughs> so we'll go out to Giratina to be able to tank this uh, next low sweep, and then we can just go for the Hex and uh, pretty much to a KO something. Uh, we bring Deoxys down with Sash as he gets full paralyzed, which is actually great because then we don't take any damage. And that spike up is huge. It's huge for Arceus because the foul player role always kills offensive Arceus after spike. So, that's why it's big for us. Shaman's gonna come out. Huh? There's Who goes for sub there? Versus a Hexing Giratina. Why did I even go for Thunder Wave? I don't even know why I went for Thunder Wave right there, but... Uh, he's gonna Leech see me, unfortunately. I'm gonna make the Klefki play, and I'm probably gonna regret it. Especially because we don't have the best answers to Rayquaza left. But I have to make the Klefki play because I have to Thunder Wave him after. I can break his sub with the Flash Cannon in theory. And then I can go for a priority Extreme Speed. I ship Extreme Speed. I can go for a priority Thunder Wave. So in theory, this will be able to break his sub as we do avoid the attack. Nice. No, theory was wrong. <sighs> then we hacks him, huh? <laughs> Crap, man. I hate this Pokemon. Absolutely hate this Pokemon. I'll go for a spike though. At least I'm threatening Darkrai a bit. Like I'm not taking him on at all. I don't have a phaser on this team either. Oh, I hate this Pokemon. Uh, but at least we can get up all three layers of spike for Arceus as well as Darkrai. Weaken them a bit. Maybe we can still win for the Veltal. I saw Jam lose to this mod. <laughs> like straight up lose to this mod. So uh, we'll be able to go out to Giratina now. And uh, just go for Hex. I don't have another play. At least Hex breaks the sub, right? Um, I'm gonna have to win this game with a Veltal. I have to hope, like, a Veltal has to get insanely lucky to win this game. If he switches out into Arceus, I don't really care too much. Like, it doesn't recover enough. Yeah, he should go for sub. Good play. Uh, good play. I can respect that. Not really. I don't like this Pokemon. <laughs> I love using this in OU in 5th gen, though, when it, for some reason, was allowed. Anybody remember that? Good lord. Um... Subsheet Shaman though, always, always a threat. Always, always been a threat. And uh, especially versus this team, especially when I feel like Player would have breaking that sub. Ah, maybe not. He might be running the max HP. Because I, 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 when I use Subseed Shaman, I actually like to run max HP because you, one, you can subseed on those fatter side and tossing mons like Blissey, uh, which should be ran over Chansey because of the. Um, because of the fact that, what was I trying to say? It should be ran over Chansey just because of, uh, uh, well, I can't remember my words, just because of Shed Shell. Yeah, that should be, that should be enough. And we'll drop a Draco here. Um, no, he might just sub again just to be safe. Uh, he goes for the air slash, good. Or not good, but the play. So Groudon is my choice, or my play of choice now, and uh, I wish we had an accurate move to hit him, huh? Really do. He goes for the air slash, don't flinch me. Groudon! All I need is an overheat. One overheat. We're gonna get flinched. <gasps> we broke through and we were able to roast that Shaman. Nice. <laughs> we take those. Ah, 
Nice, nice, nice. Goodbye, Shaman. Rayquaza is more than likely going to come out. And uh, I think I have to, I can't go hard into a Veltal, can I? No, I have to Dragon Pulse. I have to weaken him. What is this set? I don't see what it is. So a Veltal might be able to just bring this back. I think it will. Because we take Dragon Ascent for days. Yum! And he's actually Sash Rayquaza as well, so we can roost off this damage. And catch a sucker punch. <laughs> nice, so we end up on 90%. Nice! So it depends on what his Dark Rye is. Hopefully, he's not Thunder. Looks like he's Mono Dark Pulse, though. That does absolutely nothing, dude. That is zero. Kind of wish we had Toxic at this point, but he might be Scarf Darkrai, actually. He might be Scarf Darkrai. Um, I'm, I'm going off the assumption that he is actually Scarf Darkrai. So at this point, Foul Play into... I think Foul Play wins. Or oh, he's not actually Scarf Darkrai. Okay. Well, at least Foul Play puts him in range of Sucker Punch 100%. Now... Goodbye. Yeah, and Arceus cannot beat me. I have Charty Berry if he has Stone Edge. Um, and he has to set up in order to try and kill me, and we beat him with Foul Play. So we came back. Set up a Swords Dance. Yum. Yum. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about that. I'm clicking Foul Play again. Hey, a Veltal able to come through in the game. Not even bad. Ah, that's my boy, Veltal coming through. <laughs> Shout out to Shake It Up. So, that's really cool. Uh, we managed to win that. We're number 29 on the ladder now. I think it's going to be a little while, though, until I get to top 10. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it this episode. We're only at 27 minutes, though, or roughly 27 minutes. Probably 27 minutes when I add the intro and all that stuff. But, um, I, I like the team. I, I feel like I'm struggling. But, I enjoy it. I enjoy the team. I like having to fight back. I, uh... My join on. We got a game though versus uh, I think this is the focus sash extra drill team. So we're gonna lead off with Arceus Ground. Uh, this leads off with extra drill, and we're just gonna click Earthquake uh, right now. Do as much as we can. Uh, the game plan is to win. I think this game with a Veltal between Salamence, uh, E Killer, I'm pretty sure, Giratina, and Groudon. Veltal puts in the most work, and I'll actually just Earthquake right here. The aim himself. <laughs> nice people. Huh. I'm gonna make the Groudon play because I don't want him Willow Wisping. Uh, I guess he could hex right off the bat. That's something I could see happening. But uh, this also avoids a Thunder Wave, which I think is pretty crucial. And we can get up our uh, we can get up our Stealth Rock. I'm assuming he's gonna hex me right now, so I'm gonna do as much damage as I can with Dragon Pulse. Um, he has Thunder Wave and Toxic. That's interesting. Yeah, we're able to survive it, which is really nice. And this Dragon Pulse does over a half. Nice damage. And we'll be able to go for Stealth Rock just in case he does have the Defog right now. But um, the correct play now is to go out to Deancey. And I think Protect protect prevents random Defog, which I don't know if he has, but it prevents it. Uh, we also can smack extra with the which is mold breaker right because i'm what i'm debating doing is actually going right for earth power like why would you stay in i got rocks up though yeah we're just gonna go right for moon blast i can't let extra drill come in or anything come in for free versus this team uh so i rather i need damage off an extra drill as well to kill it with the uh to kill it with earth power huh. i swear i played this team we're gonna go for earth power right here because i'm pretty sure this is sax sash sax this is Sash Excadrill lead because I played this team before. So we're able to get rid of that as the Arceus Poison is going to come out. Why do we lose to this? Oh, we have Arceus Ground. Nice. <laughs> Thankfully. Uh, so we're able to tank that Poison Jab. Nice. And uh, we're actually going to double out into the uh, Deancey just in case he was Defog. Um, j just in case he was Defog Giratina. But Groudon ends up coming out, which I don't want to stay in versus, also because it's Arceus Poison, yeah. Evolto has the play. 
The way I'm beating Groudon, uh, or excuse me, Salamence is more likely with Thunder Wave from Klefki into Giratina. So we're going to go hard into our uh, Ibeltal right here and just be able to throw off a foul play. As he's going to switch out Fearing the Earth Power into his Giratina. So this works out. I but, but I didn't predict that though. Like, it just worked. I definitely didn't predict that because the Ancy would have been able to deal with it anyway. But we're able to get rid of Giratina right there. So that means our Hazard right here to stay unless he is support Arceus Poison. Which he could be. But I think that would run Thunder Wave and things like that. Feels different when you're on the other end getting dunked on. <laughs> this guy's funny. Um, Xerneas is going to come out, which is a huge threat. I have to go Klefki here uh, as he doubles uh, into Arceus Poison. Uh, solid play, I suppose, if this is his defogger, but I will go right for the Thunder Wave on you. As he doubles back on the Groudon, okay. <laughs> the Hazards are working against them, though. Once I SD up, I think I win with my Arceus, but I don't want to risk him having Will-O-Wisp. Uh, so Groudon is going to come out. And I think hard into Giratina is the play. Sorry, man. I couldn't risk a Veltal right there, um, but this is fine because we'll be able to weaken him with the Hex. This also weakens uh, Xerneas if he wants to go out to that without having to drop a Draco or anything. This will do a decent amount too because we're max special attack. Yeah, that did so much. And we'll be able to go right back out into Klefki. Um, Xerneas is now timed out. Like literally timed out. And I will 100% go for Thunder Wave versus this Xerneas. 100%. I cannot let him come in anymore. I do not care. Uh, as long as we keep Klefki alive as well, we're good versus Salamence. So Groudon is going to come out and I can go right out into my Giratina and deal with him. I do have Draco Meteor, which I will drop. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> I can drop a Draco on him, but we'll go for Hex because the 2 ak is everything on his team as well. It's 370 Special Attack Hex. Like Xerneas dies. Arceus Poison could probably come out if he wants to. Not sure what this would actually do. I'm going to Thunder Wave this. Oh, he Ice Beams me. Okay, great. So not only does Thunder Wave make me faster than him, but it also ensures that I can knock him out now with the Hex as well because Hex is boosted uh, due to his status. Um, so even though I talked about how Arceus' ground kind of wrecked in the end, he also doesn't know that I don't that I don't have Draco Meteor, which is also pretty big because I will drop a Draco on his elements. Uh, so he goes Salamence. Oddly enough, I'm not sure why, because this will take a lot. I'll be able to drop a Draco right here and live any hit. <laughs> yeah, remember when I said I live any hit? Hmm. Alright, so the correct play is to go out to a Veltal and um, uh, click Thunder with uh, Taunt. That way he's forced to attack me. Excuse me, I said Thunder Wave, but click Taunt. That way he's forced to attack me. And um, I could have went out into Arceus, but I didn't want to risk missing Stone Edge right there, especially when I could Thunder Wave after. But we'll foul play right here because I picks up a kill um, right now on the Arceus. Good boy. As Xerneas can come out, but Xerneas has been weakened so much to the point where I can actually click. Um, he has to double right here, yep. But I doubt he's, uh, I don't think he's dual dance. Uh, but Xerneas has been weakened to the point where Sucker Punch does knock it out as well. So I think that's fine. I can just go right out into my Veltal. I do have a Charty Berry. I don't care about Stone Edge at all. I'm keeping Klefki alive for the Salamence as he does Rock Polish up. This isn't going to do crap to me though. And especially through Charty Berry. He does crit me through Charty Berry though, but he is not able to knock me out as, um, oh, that sucks. We'll go for Sucker Punch, but he's trying to outplay. Ooh. I will not be outplayed. I should went for Double Foul Play right there. Had he not crit me, I would have went for it because his next one would not have been able to knock me out. I wish I had Toxic on Klefki, man. I bet you he's like doing the jam thing. I'm a weirdo. We shall test your use all eight philosophy. Good. <laughs> uh, he probably thinks I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm using all. I'm I'm using all eight sucker punches. I don't care. I don't care, man. In fact, I'm even. I'm not even gonna go for foul play. I'm gonna go for taunt. <laughs> I 
I hate these. I hate these, like I need one left for uh, Xerneas. Come on, Neveltal. He might know I need one left for Xerneas. Nice! Yeah, I still use all eight philosophy. I had three more, fam. You had to stall out all eight. <laughs> I didn't think he was dual dance Groudon, but then again, I guess it makes sense because he was stealth rock, uh, Excadrill. No, 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 I, I, I'm not making fun of you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Xerneas is going to come out. Hard into Klefki, always the play. We Thunder Wave this. Full paired. And then we Thunder Wave Mence and win. I don't think he's refreshed with... I don't think he's refreshed with double edge. That doesn't make sense. It's usually return or frustration. So we're able to knock out the Xerneas right there, which I'm not even sure what type of Xerneas it was. As uh, Salamence isn't come out. And um, if he is refreshed with double edge, which would be interesting. Oh God, goodbye. <laughs> if he was refreshed with double edge, then I think we went hard into DNC and one because then he didn't have earthquake. Because it would be Dragon Dance. We already saw. Uh, every, love your videos. Been watching for years. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I love meeting friends. GG. Ah, so good game to him. We are 17-24 on the ladder. Let's look for another one. Another one. Uh, how many is that? That's a lot of games, man. 22 on the ladder, man. So close, yet so far. See, I kind of want to end it here. And I feel like the Ubers will be one of the longest ones. But I really, I really don't want to continue laddering up with this team, but at the same time I do. So immediately I regret it because uh, our opponent's team is very scary. <laughs> you like my logic there? I like my logic there. Kyra is such a terrible lead for us. I haven't gotten a Brox once, but thankfully he leads off a Darkrai, so I'll be able to Moonblast right off the bat. If he goes Kyogre, that's fine, um, because we at least get off damage. Does he have HP Steel? Oh, great. That's great. So we just lost that Mon for absolutely nothing. Hmm. I'm gonna Magic Coat here in case he decides to go for the Dark Void. Now the reason I made that play is because I can switch into Groudon via Giratina. But I can't deal with Dark Rye. Why do you have to have HP Steel? Thankfully though, we're able to bring out a Giratina now, and um, I'm going to drop a Draco on him. He'll do as lots because we are modest, and I can also, he's probably going to Thunder Wave me. Uh, he gets up a Stealth Rock, but that's fine. I can defog them away right now. If he wants to continue to get up Stealth Rock, that's fine. He does Thunder Wave me, unfortunately, for me. Oh, that just means he can't put me to sleep, right? So, goodbye to his Groudon! Uh, that's one thing for Klefki going. Xerneas is going to come out as it should. He'll probably double predicting my Klefki, but I'm going hard into Klefki anyway. I need spikes up, man. That's a Sash Darkrai. He goes hard for the Geomancy. All my counters are still alive, buddy. <laughs> then again, it is Xerneas. So, goodbye. And Power, thankfully, not able to knock me out. And this is tough. Because I have no real way of knocking him out. I'm actually going to vote for Spike just to break Dark Rise Sash. Like, I have no real way of knocking him out. This is lame. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to get another battle either. <laughs> I'm not even playing too fast. I just that HP Steel just threw me off completely. Um, Presser's Blades is always going to do more. As we crit him. And he gets full Paralyzed. Hit. We take we double crit him. What the hell? I mean, it would have took a KO, but he did get full paralyzed, uh, which I guess helps us out right now. I mean, it definitely helped us out. I need Giratina alive. I can't. I have to go Giratina here, though. And I have to Thunder Wave. 
And that's why I didn't want to go Giratina because he would definitely Ice Beam, but I couldn't, I couldn't take it anyway. Like I, I couldn't, I had no other play to take his attacks. So right into Groudon, I'm hoping that we can take two hits and uh, I need rocks for Darkrai to maybe win with my Veltal. Uh, so we're gonna press his blades here uh, because it hits everything hard on his team. He does go Mewtwo, um, which is not gonna go down to that, unfortunately. If I wanna win with Darkrai, I need to, I need rocks up if I wanna win with a Veltal. So I have to go for rocks, unfortunately, right here, um, as we could tank his Ice Beam. So that's great. Uh, maybe a Veltal can still win. I want you to go for Dragon Pulse right now and knock him out. Thankfully, he can't freeze this as well because we are in the uh, sun and uh, Darkrai can come out as it should. Maybe put me to sleep. I don't know. I'm going for the overheat anyway, just in case he doesn't put me to sleep right here. Hmm. Yeah, and Arceus is the play. I mean, if he misses, we can win. No. Because the thing is, I actually need a first turn wake right here because I have to hit Kyogre upon switching. I can't switch out into uh, a Veltal as I do get to take the wake, but we do break through. We are able to knock him out. Okay, so we do have a chance of winning now. We still do have a chance of winning right now. Arceus is going to come out. We keep this alive 100%. Go hard into a Veltal. <sighs> Yum. But now we're in checkmate, right? Oh, he actually... No, he, he threw. He SD'd up. So I can knock him out with foul play now. Yum. All right, and I think it comes down to if... I knock out Kyogre with Sucker Punch into Earthquake, which I think I do. So we'll sucker punch right here. Yeah, we do. Nice, and he'll be able to knock me out with thunder. And then Arceus Ground is gonna be able to come through. He really, he, what he had to do right there was actually double out into Kyogre. He couldn't stay him because then his Arceus, Kyogre, I, I couldn't kill it. But um, he didn't understand how to play the late game, which is completely fine, not everybody does. Well, that's an issue that people have. And we're able to win and we are at 1740. All right, guys, let's look for another one. That was scary. We started that game off 6-5. 6-5, no dark right counters. But we are number 13 on the ladder. Man, why do it have to be 1757? If it was like 1753, I'd be confident that the next game would actually get us a top 10 of the uh, Ubers tier. Uh, but we are number 1740 on the ladder. It would really, really suck to lose right now because I already know if I lose, I'll go down like 30 points. But even if I do, that just means the next, well, there'll be another episode. That just means there'll be another episode, which would be fun. I enjoy playing this tier. Um, and it also means that we won't be that far away. So hopefully uh, we can get a good game. Uh, this will be, this is a longer episode of The Road to Top 10. This is definitely the climb. While we're watching this, I want to give a shout out to my man, Mr. Jambat. Let's see if he actually uploaded uh, today's Uber Live. Huh. Sunday Uber Live, Jim. Hmm. You lied. Nah, he's probably rendering it right now. Let's see what's in my sub box. I'm res I'm subscribed to Ty Lopez. You know, that knowledge. I'm actually subscribed to um like 500 different people. Let's see. Let's see. Envy? GVA? Season 6? Season 6, Week 10 Battle versus Tampa Bay Lux Race. Look before you sleep. Envy, stop it. Stop it. Okay, I have to throw up now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to look for another game. We're really close to the top 10 on the ladder. And I'm hoping, uh, especially now because Little Cup is back. Am I actually ranked on Little Cup too? Anymore? No, the ladder completely reset. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. Then again, I don't think I was that high in Little Cup anyway. Deutsch. Rank. 1279. Alright, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. 1279 is a good episode to come back with. I think that's where I was anyway. Uh, this last game has taken a while though. 
But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the Road to Top 10s. Uh, I know sometimes it gets in the way of OU Lads, but I don't always just want to do OU Lads. OU is my favorite tier, um, and I also don't have too many teams for it right now. I know a lot of people have been asking, where's Hita Fajita? Part of the reason I haven't been doing Hita Fajita is because we don't have the teams for it. Um, like, they say Hita Fajita, and they'll be using, like, standard team with insert Rotom Cut. That's not Hita Fajita, man. That's just five Pokemon. Jamfat does that all the time. Giratina is a great lead because his best lead versus me. Um, no, nah, we're lead Dan Deante. I'm not going to think too much about this. His best lead versus me is Groudon. Uh, but he leads off with Arceus Fairy. Have fun, man. Have fun. Uh, which is actually a threat. But we'll protect, Mega Evolve, and protect. Oh, thank you, friend. We'll Mega Evolve and protect right here. Thank you, friend. You too. Ah, yes, I'm thinking. Now nah, he's obviously responding to my half one. Um, but we'll make a bone protect right here because that just ensures that he'll probably think twice. He'll be more inclined, most likely, to go for Precipice Blades. Arceus Fairy. This team looks like a really, really old team with Terrakion and Age Slash. I like it though. I very much like it. Evolta puts in a lot of work because his foul play switchings. Yeah, he does have Terrakion, which is a threat. Um, don't appreciate that at all. Actually, my SD Arceus Crown, which I'm hoping can do something because I haven't used that Mon like at all in this live. Really, um, can probably put in a bit of work. Deancey's really nice though because it checks his team. I like how he has Arceus Fairy though. Otherwise, he'd be super weak to Deancey. Then again, Age Slash obviously checks it as well. Um, Singe, what you thinking about, buddy? I think Judgment is your play, or Hard Switch into Ground. Those are both two solid plays. Judgment or Hard Switch. But we'll make a bone protect as he goes right for the stealth rock. Okay, that works. Don't know what to say, but we take those. I'm a little bit perplexed as to what just happened. <laughs> but we take those, so we'll go hard into Klefki now, our counter, be able to thunder wave this thing. He's probably just going to go for double stealth rock. He actually goes for earth power, um, which is a good play. Uh, definitely gonna play my opponent's part, but I'm gonna Thunder Wave right here. I need to weaken this thing. This thing is a threat, man. And thankfully, he lets me Thunder Wave it. He doesn't have a cleric on his team, unless this thing is a cleric of its own. Um, damn. He does have a Defogger, though. I don't deal with this Pokemon well. I guess Arceus Ground does deal with it to an extent. So I'm actually gonna go out to Arceus and I'm gonna click the Swords Dance. Uh, the reason I'm clicking Swords Dance is because one, if he stays in, I have a chance to full pair him. And two, if he stays in and does get full pair, I can SD up and beat it. Also, this is just to immediately threaten um, Lottie as well as a Veltal. Lottie is gonna come out. Arceus Ground. Arceus Ground. Uber Swords Dance. Plus two. I doubt you knock out Latios. That is a Latios. You probably do around 70%. Uh, Uber Offensive Defog, sure. Wait, that has a good chance of killing. We're gonna go for this. Come on! Thankfully, he does not um, knock us out there. <sighs> we would have been at 100% though. Please connect. We do get the roll, so we're able to knock out Latios, but at what price though? Arceus ground is gone. Is weakened anyway, not gone. Um, if Valtok can come out and just click foul play, which it more than likely will, or Terrakion can click close combat. It depends what play my opponent chooses to make right here. He goes Aegis Slash. I'm assuming to pursue me. I'm not sure, but we're going hard into Eveltal right now. On the uh, Shadow Sneak. Nice. I'm actually going to go Groudon, uh, anticipating him to either uh, King Shield or, or Hard Switch directly into Arceus Fairy. Uh, he goes up to his own Groudon, however. Which I don't want to stay in versus. Uh, I think this is actually better for me because I now get my Giratina to come in uh, as this Veltal is going to come out. So uh, we force the Veltal to take a Stealth Rock turn. I will not let my opponent get up Stealth Rock no matter what. My Arceus Ground is staying alive. Uh, I'm thinking this is offensive of Veltal. We're going to go hard out into Giratina. Um, the only reason you would bring that thing in on that Mon is if, if, if you are defensive, I'm thinking. So um, what we can do now is fire off an Earth Power. Do we have to fire off an Earth Power? I don't think we actually have to. I'm going to fire off a Moonblast. I don't have to fire off an Earth Power. And the reason I say that is because I can protect and beat. Yeah, like I'm not. Yeah, what if I Earth Power right there and he stayed in with a Veltal? Yeah, forget that. So we're able to get rid of a Veltal. Great. That was his um, ground immunity. Age Slash is going to come out 
hard and to grout on is always the play because we get to click press of his blades now. Um, then again, I don't want to... Nah, nah, he's probably going to SD up if anything. He could be faster than me and could flinch me to death, I guess. But grout on is always the play. We take gyro ball or head smash. We don't take it that well. Uh, we definitely don't take it that well, but we'll be able to go for Precipice Blaze right now and hit everything. Arceus Fairy, I'm op actually hoping we connect right now, uh, as we do not, unfortunately for me. But we can go right for the Overheat and nuke him. Uh, we do get a crit. Justice, immediate justice for missing the Precipice Blades. So goodbye. Terrakion is going to come out. We'll just be able to click the um, Precipice Blades right now, as Earthquake is not able to pick up a KO. As we do connect, so goodbye Terrakion. All we gotta do is keep clicking Precipice Blades. And uh, uh, Singe is gonna end up, I was called him cringe, what? Singe is gonna end up forfeiting right there. So we are 17.49. We're still so close to top 10 on the ladder, guys. One more game. One more game may make us top 10 on the ladder. We are number 13 with 17.49. We need 17.58 in order to get top 10 on the ladder. Um, that was a really fun game though. Earth Power, I think if he didn't go for his own Stealth Rock right there, if he like really predicted me to switch and it worked out, I would have been in a way worse position. But we have what could be our final game. And um, yeah, it definitely could be. I like Deancey as a lead just because uh, though I don't bring, I don't face off that well versus Deoxys, at least I can uh, Mega Volume Protect and get the speed to at least speed tie with Latios as well as Gengar prior to Mega. So Extreme Speed is my opponent's play of choice. I'm trying to break my Veltal right there. Okay, I'm gonna Moonblast. If this is your only attack to hit me, we're going for Moonblast. And we'll bring you down to your Sash. Nice. So I'm not sure what he's doing right here. I'm gonna Protect though. Unfortunately, he crit me right there. But we are able to bring Deoxys down with Sash for some reason. That worked out. <laughs> that definitely worked out for me. Um, I think he was trying to predict my Veltal, maybe? I don't know. Don't you have Psycho Boost? I don't know if you have Psycho Boost or not. This is definitely offense, though. Straight up offense, like Dual Dance, Groudon, Mega Gengar. Um, like, a Veltal puts in so much work. It beats five out of six of his team. Uh, the biggest threat to me is definitely Xerneas, which I will hit with a Moonblast if it does choose to come in at any given point, so. Go to the extreme speed one more time. All right, we'll just moonblast you then. Uh, really interesting way of playing his Deoxys. I don't think weakening Deancey matters too much in this game. So I mean, yeah, I don't know how I feel about those plays, but um, we don't have to deal with hazards now. Most likely, if Groudon comes out, I'm 100% going for Earth Power. I'm weakening that thing. E Killer is gonna come out. We don't stay in. We go hard into our Veltal just to go for uh, foul play. He goes for Earthquake or his only extreme speed one more time. And um, I'm assuming he's going to go for the Xerneas. I think Xerneas would be the only play he can make right here. Nothing else resists Dark. <laughs> if he SDs up, I do a lot of damage and he can't beat me. Also, this is a roll to knock him out depending on the set. And I even get a crit, unfortunately, for my opponent right there. Um, so that sucks for my opponent, but nothing I can do about that. Xerneas is going to come out. And we're harding into our clef key because we have to click Thunder Wave on this thing. We have to. I gotta weaken him. Um, unfortunately, this team, does, I feel like it doesn't deal with this Xerneas that well at all. But we'll be able to click Thunder Wave and weaken the only or the biggest threat to us as he gets full paired. And we're definitely just gonna go for Flash Cannons to weaken him as much as possible. Get him low. Close combat. Okay. That's odd. Maybe mixed? I. Mixed for, I suppose, I suppose he mixed for, um, <laughs> that's so odd, for like Chansey and stuff like that, uh, I think we can afford to go out into Groudon right now, uh, because if he goes for close combat one, we knock him out with overheat after that, I doubt he has aromatherapy, but we'll save Plefki just in case he does have it, uh, as he is going to go for Moonblast, good play, Spatak, no! Rocks aren't that important. I'll just go for Precious Blades and miss. That's cool. As he's able to knock us out right there. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, Deancey comes out now. And uh, at least Moonblast uh, will be a 2 KO because of its own ability and the special attack drop. As he's able to break through, unfortunately, for us. <laughs> uh, but we can now go out into Arceus Ground. And Arceus Ground... Knocks out Xerneas 
as well as deals with like I'm not too worried about Latios between the Steel type and the Dark type left, and it also can deal with the Groudon. It's pretty much my 100% way of knocking out Xerneas right here without letting Groudon in. Latios is gonna come out, and I can go hard into Klefki and take this thing on. Um, I think the only play is to go for Thunder Wave right here, assuming even if Groudon comes out, like there's no reason not to go for Thunder Wave. Like uh, I go hard into Giratina if he stays in, as he drops a Draco. So, <laughs> okay, uh, we'll flash cannon you and weaken you. The Voltal wins the game. Might as well get up some spikes as well. Like yeah, I, I might as well. That little spike might be the difference between a Veltal coming through and not, so. Yeah, I'm gonna flash cannon him that way. We knock him out with foul play. From my uh from my from my Veltal. I'm pretty sure it knocks him out. A Veltal. Uber's physical tank. <laughs> that is so much. Would have knocked him that could have knocked him out from full. <laughs> Uh, but we'll be able to go right for the foul play right here and pick off the Latios. That spike is going to be nice, I guess, for Groudon. Um, foul play is going to 2-8 KO any Groudon anyway. Like, prior to him boosting. And we deal with Groudon if he, even if he does boost. And then Giratina eats one hit from our, our Mega Gengar. Plus, like, a Thunder Wave or Hex to knock it out. And if he Megas, like, an Earthquake with Arceus Ground. So, we'll foul play right here. This will be a 2-8 KO if he does decide to boost up. As he chooses to go for the Thunder Wave right now. And we'll just foul play again. That did damage. And I guess we can just go right for Sucker Punch and knock him out. So Aveltal putting in the finest of work as Gengar is going to come out. And I'm going to go for Foul Play versus Gengar just in case he's sub. I don't want to lose to a random sub Gengar. Sub disabled Gengar could actually be a threat, I guess. Just forfeit, Tiger, please. And give me enough points. I just need eight points. Eight points is all I ask for. Eight points is all I need to get top ten in Ubers, please. Gengar is going to come out. And he can't knock me out with any one hit. So I'll go for the uh, foul play right here. Yeah, as I said, Sludge Wave isn't going to knock me out. We are able to break through. And we can just go for Sucker Punch right now. And we break through again the pair, and we were able to knock him out. Is this top 10? That is top 10. Good game, bro. That is top 10, guys. We have achieved top 10 in Ubers. Number 10 on the ladder, right here. Aim, 17 58. We did it. It was, ooh, this was a long, long adventure. But Ollie, your team came through, buddy. I like to think that me putting Sucker Punch on Eveltal had a huge role in this. And uh, giving recover to Arceus Ground. <laughs> But I hope you guys all enjoyed the road to top 10 in Ubers. That's another tier conquered. Doubles is on its way to being conquered. And then Little Cup is the beginning, the stepping point. But again, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Feel free, of course, to leave a like, subscribe. Check out the other roads on my channel. And now all is left is to finish up doubles and to conquer Little Cup. So thank you once again, and I'll see you guys later. Cue the outro.